When he says, take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. He says, it's a weapon against the enemy. Jesus showed us when he was tempted what the best weapon was. Every time the devil tried to do something, he said, it is written. Must have been frustrating to the devil. He wants a conversation. Jesus just says, it's written. He tells him what the Bible says. When you release the word of the Lord, he has no defense. It becomes a sword. But when he says, take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the word there is rhema. There's graphe, written words. These are not just, these are not even religious words. They just apply to religious things also. Graphe is written down words. Rhema is words coming out of your mouth, spoken words. Lagos is the message in the words. Three words for words in the New Testament. So you have the written word. Jesus said, it is written, graphe. He took the written down words and he said them, that's rhema. And the message in the words is logos. We get the word logic from logos. That's why Jesus is called the word. He's not called the rhema and he's not called the graphe. He's more than the written word and he's more than spoken words. He's the message in the words. But in Ephesians 6, he says, take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. He says, rhema. And do not make the mistake, you know, there's, there are teachings that rhema means revelation. That when God gives you a revelation, that's a rhema. God can give you revelation from graphe or rhema, but that's not what the words mean. The words mean, the word rhema simply means spoken words. And so when you put that back into the verse, what it says is, take the spoken word, which is the sword of the spirit. It is not a sword against the enemy until you say it. Just because you think it, it's not doing anything to the devil. It's helping you, and you can meditate on it. But even meditation means to speak and mutter and, and, and not just think about. But you can think about the word, and it can help you and encourage you. But it's not a sword against the devil until you say it. And when it comes out of your mouth, it does something in the atmosphere. You start decreeing what God says out loud, your atmosphere in your house will change. You start decreeing what God says about you, your mind will change. You start decreeing what he says about California, California will change. <clears throat> it won't happen just because we came here. And it won't happen just because we leave here encouraged. It won't happen just because we have faith. It will happen when that faith causes us to release something this is the outlet of your spirit. Jesus didn't just think, peace be still to the storm. He said it, and he didn't say it because storms can hear. He said it because spoken words have power. And then when they come from God. He didn't say to the fig tree, or he didn't think to the fig tree, nobody's going to eat from you again. He said it, and he didn't say it because fig trees can hear. He said it because the power in him needed to get out of his mouth. That's why he said, Lazarus, come forth. I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I'm so excited I got this message done. The devil tried to stop me and my back tried to stop me, but I got it done. Get her done. So we're going to decree now one more time over this region. Can I just have the worship team up here? This lady, Julie, go, you can go ahead. I was in a meeting with her in Kansas three or four or five years ago. We're finished. The meeting's over. I'm grabbing my Bible. I hear this, Dutch! 
I don't know if she even remembers it. She's at the keyboard. Dutch! She starts singing about giving God 15 minutes. You remember that? And she says, you're going to change a nation through the number 15. Took me a while to figure out what the Lord wanted to do with that. But we have an app now called Give Him 15. It's a free app. You should go get it. You should get it if you don't have it. Every day there's a prayer for, for most of the time for the nation. Very short, very brief. Thousands, I want to tell you. Thousands. We have over half a million people that have that app now. Thousands of people are praying the same prayer and decree, making the same decree over America every day now. Because the word of the Lord came forth and we obeyed the word of the Lord. And now, and I'm not exaggerating, thousands of people are praying and decreeing the same thing over America. Today's decree is about the armed forces, the military praying for them, our soldiers. Don't you love it? Stand up, please. Now, when we, we get finished praying and Chuck prophesies or whatever he's going to do here to end this, we're going to have to be very rude and we're just going to have to rush out, okay? So if you try to stop us and we just say, no, we don't have time, please know we're not trying to be the big guys that run in and do our thing and sneak out. We're just, we just, we just have to get to the airport. In fact, we have two hours from right now, our flight. So we got 45 minutes to get there, turn in the rental cars and get to our gate. So we're gonna go quickly. <clears throat> but I feel like the Lord wants to make some decrees here and us to say some things. Lord, we just agree with you. We say the same thing. We are hearing that the glory, your glory is coming to the west and that a west wind is going to blow. Your spirit is coming to this region to break through in incredible and miraculous ways. Lord, we are going to see your word come with such profound power that it goes five layers into the ground. We say California is about to shift into a new phase and season of her destiny. And that, the, and that demons and the devil does not own the state of California. Every square inch of this state belongs to the Lord. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So we say the blood of Jesus is going to break every curse in the soil, every curse in the atmosphere, every curse in gov over government and business. And the Lord Jesus Christ is bringing his power into California. Yahweh is going to be seen. Signs and wonders are coming. Miracles are coming. You're going to pour out your spirit in the state of California. Now, you know when you walk into a place of apostolic authority. Let's thank God one more time for this place. I, I told, I told Rick and Lori, I said, there's a movement, not a ministry, a movement coming out of this place. Now, I want Rick to lay hands on Dutch's back. And I'm going to say, you know, we, we, can't, we made it through from the east to the west, thank God. Now, I'm a little beat up, but we made it through. I got healed last night, but I'm a lot easier than him and nicer, so... You say, thank you for having this atmosphere prepared when we got here. Lord, we thank you for being able to press through to this place, press through into California, a gate of the west wind, a gate of healing, a gate of power. And Lord, we thank you for the healing movement and the Judah movement and the incredible mountain changing societal movement that is stirring in California. To all of you from uh, uh, Christian International, the Lord says you're going to go back and review all the words that have stirred up and you're going to find sentence after sentence. You will redo the way you decree. 
you'll move from prophecy to decree. The Lord says you will decree a thing and watch it happen. Lord, we say right now, California is now. The plates are shifting in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Let's pray right now. Let's ask God to heal Dutch completely right now in the name of Jesus. It's the L4 and L5. All right, Lord, we, right now we speak. We give voice to your word. And we say L4 and L5 be healed in the name of Jesus. We command those pinched nerves to be unpinched in Jesus' name. Lord, we speak a creative miracle into his, into his back, into the vertebrae, Lord, in, into, into all things in his back that's causing problems right now. Lord, stretch his back right now in the name of Jesus. We just say nerves be free, be loosed right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for healing right now in the power of Jesus' name right now. I speak to all pain. Lord, I speak to the sciatica, and I say, but hear the word of the Lord. And I say, be healed in the name of Jesus. I command all pain, leave now in the name of the Lord. We say never again, never again in Jesus' name. Let this back be brand new. We say all things new, all things restored. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.